Hey guys and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be talking about furnace layouts. So the first furnace layout that you'll probably ever use is this one. You've got your your ore coming in the outside and you've got your electric furnace here. One ore picked up in the furnace, back out, onto your belt. Your belt goes up and your, your belt will just bugger off and that will go onto your main bus. Sorted. Next one you've got is this one, which is uh, it's slightly different. This is the one that I used to prefer on the older versions of Factorio, and I still use it. Basically because you would have issues with inserters putting onto belts and keeping compression. So if you put them, if you put a belt side loading onto a belt, it would squeeze everything up a bit, that bit neater that inserters just couldn't do. Not sure if it still works in the current version of Factorio, haven't done extensive testing. But for the sake of an extra two lines of space, pretty decent to use. The next one you've got is a buffer system. Buffer systems are good if, for example, like you can see here, you just want all of your stuff smelted. And the good thing about it is you can shove in some passive providers, it all goes into your logistics network. That way you can just bring your iron in regardless of your trains or whatever. Get it brought in, get it smelted, and get it in your logistics network. You've got a massive buffer. The only issue with that is that you are constantly using um, more iron than what you're going to be needing. And it's very difficult to tell if it's a production issue you've got or if it's a, an input issue because the buffer kind of masks that for a while. So I'm not normally a big fan of the buffer system. I used it ex quite extensively in my Megatrain uh, campaign and... Yeah, I wasn't a big fan because basically you would have like hundreds of thousands in your your system, but when you've got like eight factories and the first what happens is the first ones are using up iron, but you're not getting the right you're not getting enough throughput. It's just it's just not worth it anymore. It used to be alright, depending on what you were after. Now it's just not worth it. It's great, however. If you tend to use your robots for a lot of stuff, whereas I don't, I like my I like using the main bus more than using robots. But if you tend to use robots for a lot of stuff, then having it buffered and in, into passive providers so the robots can pick it up and move it off is a great idea. And to that end, if you're using a, a robot system, you can do something much like this. What I've got here is I've got a mixed line belt, so I've got copper on one side, iron on the other, you need it like that, you can't have them interspersed in between each other, otherwise you're going to cause yourself issues, because if you've got them interspersed and they're all mixed up, what ends up happening is you'll end up with a stack of copper at the end, and you maybe want an iron, so you're a lot better keeping them nice and organised. But the way that this works is that, depending on the logistics system, someone actually requested me to show, show off how you would do this. Um, this is depending on the logistics system and not the circuit network because it would work the exact same. Someone says, can we, can we get a, can you show me a furnace layout so that if, uh, so I can have a mixed belt, but if I require iron to be made, it'll make me iron, or if I require copper to be made, it'll make me copper. So this is what you've got. I've got two smart inserters because unfortunately I was going to do it with a red wire and a green wire system, but red wire and green wire don't mix anymore you can only use it's only the circuit network you don't have like a red wire or a green wire um system unfortunately although i could probably work something out using a the cider combinator hmm yeah i probably could but um anyway anyway anyway, anyway. uh that it's totally pointless like apart from the fact i could i could do a really complex thing with the combinators and make it so that you could use just one smarter but i mean it cost me more resources to make all the combinators and all the different wires and things that it would be to make an extra fucking smart inserter so uh yeah yeah one combinator is five electro uh, i don't know probably would be less but it's just a lot more faffing on than just placing down another inserter uh, so we've got this one that takes in, it's going to take in iron ore, and that one it's going to take in copper ore, depending on what it gets asked to do. And, uh, or rather, depending on what we've got in the system. And this works only because it's going straight into passive providers, because otherwise, well, you could have it, you could have it like this, where it's passive providers and your, uh, and your system. But, uh, yeah, let's remove that. 
which should show you that all of our stuff has just like all of the stuff that we had in storage is just buggered off so it said that we don't have enough you can see we've got enough iron in storage because of the iron over here so it's told the copper ones that that's fine they can switch on and start taking copper in copper gets smelted jobs are good and that there is how you you get it to swap through so we've let's just dump a load of copper into the system how much have we got 200 371 copper right now okay if i remove that one it will remove the amount of iron i need to go and get some more copper i'll show you exactly what i mean oh there's 100 copper in there There we go. This is um this is the same map that I've done all my other tutorials on. That's why I've got storage chests full of just a load of junk because I just cleared out the uh, the rest of the map. So there you go. So now the furnaces have, or rather, the inserters have realised that we've got more than enough copper in the system, so they've shut off. Now, if we nip over here and remove this iron from the system, it'll turn the iron on because we don't have enough iron to satisfy the needs of the inserters so there we go that's how you would do a mix belt system um a mix belt smart system essentially uh but my favorite is probably just the basic now used to be this one because of the uh, compression now it's just this one and if you're wanting to know the there's a there's a ratio for furnaces as well and right now, as far as I can tell, it seems to be that 10 furnaces to a yellow belt will put it up nicely. Is that 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8? And yeah, another 2 on the other side. So you can have 10 furnaces and a battery. The, the end one will hardly get used. So 9 furnaces and a battery would be more than suitable. Um, if you're wanting to fill up just a yellow belt. If you've got any faster belt, then obviously you can have more furnaces on it and then more inserters etc and you can just have a massive belt i tend to use yellow belts for the vast majority of my systems so i can run a game from start to finish only on yellow belts and it's, i'm happy enough with that so i tend to just make my furnace setups the way i want to go on so this is the most compact furnace setup you can have the most compact and efficient furnace setup you can have um but if you're wanting to use buffers then feel free i'm not a fan you can make up your own mind give it a go and see if you like it i just prefer to know if i need to go and get more iron and i can know that by looking at it's basically you swap your buffers from one to the other you swap your buffers from either iron ore if you've got a train system if you don't have a train system and it's just feeding straight into your furnace setups then i prefer to know if i need to put more miners on or if i need more smelting um to fulfill my factory that's just why i don't like buffers but once you start getting into trains, you're essentially buffering iron ore as opposed to buffering iron. So then, then I could see the point for wanting more, uh, wanting a buffer on your furnace setup, but still it's not, for the hassle, it's not really worth much. Because you're using extra pollution, etc, 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 just to create more iron that's just going to sit there and wait. But uh, that's been it for this tutorial, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. I've been Steve, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.